Today's mug moment finds us in the upper room. It's now time for the Passover feast. And as they sit down at the table, a bomb is about ready to be dropped on those disciples. Jesus has some rough news. We're in Matthew 26, 20 to 22. When it was evening, Jesus sat down at the table with the 12. And while they were eating, he said, I tell you the truth, one of you will betray me. Greatly distressed, each one of them asked in turn, am I the one Lord? <laughs> oh my. You know, have you ever been in one of those groups where a hard question is asked, maybe a question like, who's going to pray or who's willing to go first? Or maybe you're being questioned because something happened. Who did it? And what do we like to do? We like to point at our nose, which if you've seen this done before, it means not it. I didn't do it. I'm not going to pray. I'm not wanting to go first. The disciples were kind of playing that game right now because none of them wanted to think that they were the ones who were going to betray him. Now, we know the rest of the story. We know it was Judas. Judas. And it's easy for us to point the finger at it and say, he's the one, he's the bad guy. He's the one who rejected Jesus. He's the one who stopped following Jesus. He's the one who went down his own selfish way instead of keeping on the path of Jesus. Sound familiar? Yep, I'm talking about myself. You see, I'm a sinner. I have rebelled. I have gone my own selfish path. I have betrayed the kingdom of God for the sake of my own kingdom. I need a savior. When I consider the story of grace and love, a cross, an empty tomb, I would love to be able to say, not it, but I cannot. I invite you as you go into your prayer time today, reflect on the words to a great hymn of faith written by Charles Wesley. It goes like this. O love divine, what hast thou done? The immortal God hath died for me? My father's co-eternal son bore all my sins upon the tree. The immortal God for me hath died. My Lord, my love is crucified. Make sure you come back tomorrow as we continue this discussion about the betrayal and what we get out of this story. Be blessed.